x over a minus 1 minus x over a plus 1 equals b. We need to solve this for x. But notice that a and b, these variables, appear in this equation. So I don't have numbers for everything. I'm going to get an answer when I solve this for x. I'll just have an answer, x equals something. But that something will be an expression with a and b in it. In other words, I can solve for x in terms of a and b. The technique, though, is still the same. I multiply by the least common denominator on both sides. So I look at all my denominators. I have an a minus 1 and an a plus 1. The least common denominator is going to be a minus 1 times a plus 1. And instead of multiplying it out, I'll leave it in that form. So I multiply the left side by that. So let's write this a minus 1 times a plus 1, all of that times x over a minus 1 minus x over a plus 1. And that equals the right side, which also has to be multiplied by this. So that, so that equals b times a minus 1, a plus 1. Now on the left, we distribute. And we're going to be multiplying all of this by that. And you can think of this a minus 1, a plus 1 as being over 1. So recognize that that a minus 1 and that a plus 1 are in the numerator. And that a minus 1 will cancel that a minus 1. And I'm left with a plus 1 times x. And you need your parentheses around the a plus 1 there. And then I have this minus sign right here. Now I multiply all of this, a minus 1, a plus 1, times this term. And when you do that, you can see that this a plus 1 factor cancels that a plus 1 in the denominator, leaving us with a minus 1 times x. So I write that, a minus 1 times x. And on the right side, I have b times this. Well, I can go ahead and do a FOIL on this. This gives me a b times, I'll put this in parentheses because it's b times all of that. And when I do a FOIL, I get an a squared, and you can see I have a plus a and a minus a, which cancel out, and then I have a minus 1. And you recognize this, hopefully, as the difference of two squares. a squared minus 1 is equivalent to a minus 1, a plus 1. Now on the left, let's uh, distribute this x right here. So that gives me ax plus x minus, and here I distribute this x, so this is minus ax. And notice here I have a, a x multiplied by that minus 1, that's a minus x but I also have a minus there. So when I subtract that minus x, that becomes a plus x. And on the right, I have b times a squared minus 1. Now on the left, the ax and the minus ax cancel out, and I'm left with 2x. So 2x is all I have on the left, and that equals b times a squared minus 1. And so then I simply divide by 2 on both sides. And the 2's cancel. And that's my answer. I'll just write it over here. x is equal to b times a squared minus 1 over 2. I don't have a numerical answer for x, and that's OK. My equation, my original equation had x and a and b in it. So when I solve for x, it makes sense that I have x in terms of a and b.